Hey guys, what's up? Bobby Moretti here. Uh, surviving Sports Picks, SSP for short. Some, yeah, I'm gonna just. Uh, I got a little idea tonight, guys. I'm gonna go over the Big East Conference from this past college uh, <clears throat> basketball season. I just want to start maybe uh, giving people, some of you guys, the, uh, an idea of how I how I kind of see things and, and and look things over day to day as I'm as I'm picking my games. As I go forward, guys, I'm, I'm I'm reaching out to a community of guys that want to uh, that want to win. I mean, I'm not saying that any of the guys that I already know don't want to win. Um, we have a community of uh, decoders. Um, we all understand that. <clears throat> uh, we all apply a certain amount of decodes to our picks. I um, I surface decode. I've been asked many times if I decode, and I tell guys, yeah, I decode. I don't decode like a guy like Zach. I don't do, I, I, I don't spend, you know, the ample time like he does. He's, he's good at what he does. Um, he, 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 uh, he gives out chapters of numbers and, 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 and things that he feels connects for the day per game. I, I, don't, I don't do that. Um, we all have our own system. Uh, my gift is a little bit different than his. Um, and this applies to other guys. This isn't just Zach. Um, Zach does a great job over there with what he's doing, and, 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 and my hat's off to him, so that's cool. But I got a gift in a way that, um, you know, like I said, I tie it all in with the uh, worldwide propaganda and uh, the Kabbalistic control that goes on on a daily basis, and, um, and I tie that in with uh, what I call an ebb and flow and a uh, dog and pony show fixed sports arena and uh that's how i and, and i and i and numbers are important there's no question but in my opinion there's more to picking sports games than than numbers and guys can continue to could i tell everybody we all have a gift and guys can continue to day in and day out to code games with basically with strictly numbers and that's fine and 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 I, I wish you all the best and I'm not saying you're not going to win some and we're certainly all going to lose some but um, my, 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 my body of work is there um, and I tie it all in with, with my gift with with surface decoding and um, and uh, the way I see it so that being said, I'm going to, I want to, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I talked to Don the other day and he had a lot of great ideas. Um, I'm definitely not uh, stupid enough not to realize that there's generation gaps here. Um, I've been around the block. I got, I got a lot of wisdom. Uh, I got a lot of, uh, I, I discern well. Um, God's been good to me. Um, I've suffered in my day. I've been up in my day. I've been down in my day. I see life out of a different lens. Um, uh, and I, 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 I know what my gift is and, 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 and my knowledge of sports is, goes back a long way. Um, it goes back a long way. And, um, and 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 the and the gift that I have and and the and the ability to see these these leagues the way I do produces winners, and so what I'm getting at is you know there's different generations here. You got the the, the late teenage year guys. You got into your young twenties and middle twenties, late twenties, into your thirties and into your forties, and you start to mature a little bit as you get up into your late twenties and thirties. I'm not saying younger guys aren't mature, but you. It takes time. It takes life experiences, um, and, and it all ties in, and it all ties in, and and numbers are important, and and, and um, I'm a, I'm a street capper, and I want to. Is there is a community out there of of horse guys, um, and 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 street guys that that really hustlers that really want to, you know, scratch pad it with a pencil every day. And Don has some great ideas with, you know, going after some younger guys with some uh, pop out things, you know, colorful pictures and videos and and really catching the eye, the, 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 the short span of attention span to maybe some of this new generation. But I can't I also got to stick with with what I what, what, what I am and where I'm from. And, and that's the streets. 
and, and, and the knowledge and the experience and wisdom and discernment that I've developed over the years through genetics and, and from the good Lord above. And, and I'm not going to stray too far away from that. I mean, you know, I go back with guys like Joe Frazier and, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And some of you guys have never seen them box, him box. You've never seen Jabbar sky hook and dropping 40. I mean, he's the only guy with Jordan. You know, there's a couple other guys there as well. I think Jabbar is the all-time great. I think he's a... Uh, He's the only guy, uh, I guess, with Jordan probably I'd have to say, and maybe a couple others that can be in the locker room prior to a game and, and, and he's lacing up his sneaks and he's uh, his old Chuck Taylor is from New York and he from 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 uh, Harlem and, and, and Brooklyn and he's, he's saying we're going to win tonight and, and he can do that. And 38,000 plus points, an all-time leading scorer, uh, you know, you might never have seen Jabbar play. So you say, yeah, there's no way Jabbar's the best ever. Well, you know, you got to go back and do your homework, bro. You got to go back and do your homework. You got you, you got Earl Campbell. You got uh, Joe Frazier who slept on the cot in the back of his, uh, his, uh, his private gym in Philly till the day the good Lord took him. I mean, that's what I'm cut from. And, uh, I can't stray too far away from that. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, try to mix it up the best I can and, uh, you know, see what comes of it. And so far, what's come of it is a 60 plus percent to 65 plus percent on all my plays on the daily. So I, I'm doing something right. But anyway, uh, I'm going to cut this video short because, like I said, I'm doing it on my iPhone. This is a small introduction. Uh, just trying to keep my face out here. There's no games. Everything's black. Crazy times. And, uh, I've taken a hit, but I ain't going down, and it's not a big deal. I'll be fine. I got guys that are coming back, and uh, hopefully when so, when things get back to some sense of normal, some semblance of normalcy, you know, we could start rolling again and winning some games. And I got some plans for my channel going forward. I need those 1,000 subscribers. You got to hit that button. I'm making some headway in the last couple days. I've reached out to a lot of people. I know a lot of people. I ain't going down. I'm going to get those thousand. I don't have a computer. I got an iPad and an iPhone, and I need a thousand subscribers, and I thank those who've taken the time to do that. I hope some of you guys that haven't will do that for me. It means more to me than you might think, and I need to be out front and live from the casino and the track. I've got other plans with the homeless and the, like I said, the BML land and, and, and the National Forest and um, the high-low desert, the Everglades. I got some interesting content away from sports, but my main thing is capping my page and winning for myself and for my guys, and I'm going to continue to do that, and I ain't going nowhere. So, listen, I told you, I don't have to do this. I could simply be a lone wolf and go about my business. I play games every day for myself and and, and, and mind my own business and go about my business the way I, I do anyway. So I enjoy this. I enjoy the camaraderie. I, did, I enjoy the discussion. We're all looking for an edge. A street gambler is always looking for an edge. And I read everybody's comments and I respect everybody. And, and, and we have a lot of fun at this. So I'm going to continue to go about this and I'm going to try to get more professional and I'm, I'm going to try to, you know, reach out to some of the, the younger people in, in a different way that might catch their eye and, 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 and steer them towards my work and, and let them make a decision for themselves. I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there that are doing great work. I'm not trying to knock anybody. I, 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 I enjoy everybody else that puts out their work. I actually reached out to a few guys and tried to extend the olive branch, but some guys don't want to respond. That's fine because I'm a good guy deep down inside. I'm a true person. Um, I'm an honest guy. I was raised right. And and I'm not looking for anything from anybody. Yeah, I'm trying to establish a page. I got the clothing line coming on a small scale. I got my content that I tell you I want to do. I'll get live. I got my Patreon page. My name is out there. I've uh, developed a reputation for myself and um i want to meet new people and and i want to meet those street guys that those street hustlers that really want to bring bust out the pen 
uh, and paper and really grind it out day to day and win, win a little extra pin money in their pocket and a little jingle for themselves monthly. And I told you, standing on your head eating cornflakes, if you just follow me and pay attention a little bit each day and piece it together and get a, a, get a little idea of where I'm coming from, I, I think it's a no-brainer that you could win, you know, three to five hundred dollars a month and uh, maybe more. I think more. Um, so that's where I'm coming from. I'm going to come back. I'm going to break down the, uh, the Big East Conference here on my little scratch sheet I put together. And I'm going to give you an idea just from that one conference how I, how I looked at some games and some teams. And I'm going to do that for the next couple you know, couple weeks maybe uh, with, with different leagues. And I'm going to talk about different things that might, that might interest some of you guys uh, until we get back to hopefully some, 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 some ball games. I don't know if we're going to get back to any sports this calendar year, man. I don't have, I don't have any idea how they're going to, how they're going to go about this. Um, but we'll see. So I'll be right back guys. I'm going to upload this video and then we're going to go, we're going to go down the litany of the big, East, <clears throat> big East conference for the, for the 219, uh, two, uh, 2020 season not the whole year but just a small snippet of the big east all right brothers thanks